Park soda. It's Margot put on makeup lots. It's Margot dress up right. It's time to meet old Margot. for the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> for bringing needy, sexy people together. <laughs> oh, God, kids. It's been so long since I've been on the New York cabaret stage. <laughs> I had to take a little respite upon doctor's orders. Oh, you know. Many of you know Manny and I did the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. <laughs> where we did 10,000 shows and I drank 20,000 bottles of wine. <laughs> I nearly drowned! <laughs> but don't get me wrong, kids. We loved Edinburgh, you know? With its rolling green hills and gorgeous castles. <laughs> you know what I love most about Edinburgh? What? Was the uncut tallywaggers. <laughs> exactly, exactly, darling. Oh, the doctors never saw a tongue laughing like it. <laughs> and poor Manny got lockjaw. <laughs> it was a mess. And unfortunately, kids, I came down with a new mysterious STD. The doctors classified as Iggy Azalea. <laughs> And it came with this horrible, pus-filled rash that the doctors called Azalea Banks. <laughs> but thankfully, after a year of antibiotics and a good set of earplugs, <laughs> I got the all clear. But you know what, kids, when I thought about coming back to do another cabaret, I thought, oh, God! I thought, you know, I needed a better reason to come back and do a cabaret show other than free drinks. <laughs> you know, so I thought hong and lard about it. <laughs> I think you mean long and hard, Margo. Yeah, we'll get to that later. <laughs> but then I found out Pangea wanted me. <laughs> well, Stephen had me, and then Pangea wanted me. <laughs> so I thought that was a good enough reason to come back and do some cabaret. Right, kids? You know, it was. And I got a lot of things I gotta say. You know what? I go. I do. And I gotta tell you, kids. I'm tired of living in the world where the ambassador to New York City is Taylor Swift. Yes! <laughs> when it should be Robin Bird. <laughs> so I drink. Yes, Queen! And kids, I'm tired of living in a world where the woman's right to choose is constantly under attack. Yes! And I'd like to use my constitutional right to choose. Which male center needs a lobotomy next? <laughs> so I drink. Yes, Margo, Ooh. yes! Because yes. I'm tired of living in a world where the word tranny is now somehow offensive. <laughs> I'm sorry, anything that rhymes with granny or fanny is good enough for me. <laughs> so I drink. Yes, queen, yes! Work it on you! Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, my kids, and I'm tired yeah. of living in a world where Amy Schumer is considered fat. I mean, you can have your hummuses, your guacamoles, and your salsas, but I'll be your fat and fabulous whore for Lipton sour cream and onion dip. Yes, work it! Work I'm it. all about that face. Work it! Um, yes, Hunty, preach! Yes! So I drink yes. to Megan Trainer. Guys, <laughs> I'm tired of living in a world where anybody gives a shit what Donald Trump thinks. <laughs> so I drink heavily. Yeah! Work that Father Dowling mystery's realness, honey! Work it! Work, work it, it! Work it! Yeah! Kids, I'm tired of living in a world of RuPaul's Drag Race where the queens only care about making coin and not making art. Yeah! So I drink. Yes! Yeah! Uh, kids, 
I'm tired of living in a world of screw tops. <laughs> Bring me back the corks so I can pop it and lock it. <laughs> and most of all, kids, yeah. I'm tired of living in a world where I still don't sound like Mariah Carey. <laughs> Is Mar Mariah Carey, Margo. Oh, so true. Uh, well, so I drink. So kids, sit back and relax and take a little ride with Margo as I sing the blues. <laughs> we often listen to music. Rock Manimov, Dylan, the blues. But nothing compares, no, nothing compares when Margo sings the blues. Some people are boring, some people are nerds, some are no fun, and some are just turds. <laughs> Avoid them like roaches. Spend time with me. I'm Margo. I may sing a little off key, but honey, you can't lose. No, you really can't lose with Margo, me, Margo. As you will, ma'am. And you, sir. 
you know? Because ever since I was a little girl, you know, I've always been a pleaser. <laughs> you know, I've always aimed to please. So I think it's, you know, important that I take it back to where I came from. Yep. You know? Trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning. <laughs> well, listen, listen. My whole life's been a trigger warning, so just get over it. All right? But, you know, where do I begin, Manny? Uh, how about the beginning? <laughs> That's a good enough place to start. <laughs> 